Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I know so many of you are probably wondering like, Ashley, where the hell have you been, girl? And um, I'm here to kind of explain where I have been the last couple weeks. And if you haven't seen my initial video where I announced the big announcement, <laughs> I will list it down below in the description box. But yes, I am pregnant. I am going to be 11 weeks tomorrow. So every Monday, it's my weekly update. You're pregnant. Um, kind of switcheroo. So I know that my initial announcement video was supposed to be day one of vlogmas, but a lot of you have realized that I didn't even make it past day three. I feel like um, I think I only did day one, day two, day three, and then I just kind of like fell off the face of the earth. But in my defense, um, I was just so, so sick. I got hit with the nausea bug for like two weeks. It was just miserable and dreadful. Um, thank God it wasn't to the point where I threw up. You know what I mean? Um, it was just like, it was like a, a hangover that never went away. It was just an all day thing. Um, which is completely different from Raiden because when I had Raiden or when I was pregnant with Raiden, um, I had no morning sickness, nothing. It was like a perfect, perfect pregnancy, except for the fact that uh, my boobs grew super fast and I gained weight super fast. But that is totally different from this pregnancy. So I am 10 weeks and six days six days. So I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you wanted to or asked for me to do like progression pregnancy vlogs or videos. So if you are interested then these videos will be specifically dedicated to pregnancy uh, but also for me to reflect and look back on just because my husband and I we love to do that like so often. I feel like we do that every week. Uh, just set our past vlogs to see where we traveled, how it was. We love to watch Raiden when she was a baby. Um, and because I wasn't on YouTube before or when I was pregnant with Raiden, this is something that I wanted to do just, again, to put out pregnancy videos for you guys. If you guys are pregnant, um, then we can kind of go through this together. Um, and also for me, for me to look back on. Like I said, you guys are asking for pregnancy videos or pregnancy vlogs or whatever. So I definitely wanted to get this out for you guys today. Um, even though I'm about five weeks late, <laughs> I did find out that I was pregnant. Um, I think I was five weeks. And so November 30th was the day that I found out I was pregnant. And again, if you guys haven't seen that video, I will post it down below. Um, my husband and I were trying or I think it was either like May or June or something like that. Uh, four months prior to finding out, uh, we decided that we were going to try. And if any of you knew me and my mentality, I was completely fine with just Raiden. And um, it wasn't until I kind of gave in to my husband just because he was literally like just begging for another baby ever since Raiden was like two years old. So it was something that I felt as a wife, you know, I could do for my husband. Um, and then I told him I would try for a month, just a month. <laughs> and it wasn't until the end of the month where I tried to, you know, take a pregnancy test. And I was literally obsessed that whole month. I would buy a pregnancy test almost every day or at least account for a pregnancy test every single day. Um, I took a, a picture of my all my tests and sent it to my girlfriend. And she was just like, Ashley, you're freaking nuts, okay? So it became an obsession. And when I got my negative pregnancy test, I knew in my heart that it was something that I really wanted because I was completely devastated. I was miserable. I was so sad. Um, and so that's when you know you're good to go. So ever since then, I knew in my heart that it was something that I really wanted to try to do, um, especially because I was so apprehensive about it prior to that. So uh, my husband and I have been trying for about four months or so-ish, and then we found out November 30th that we were pregnant, and I was so excited, and I have just been living on cloud nine ever since. I completely, I guess some of the reservations that I had prior to having Raiden was, you know, I, her and I are attached to the hip and we do everything together. And I just kind of felt guilty every time I would think about dividing my time between, you know, two kids and an infant requires so much of my time and attention. Whereas Raiden, she's so independent and she's just a big girl now, you know what I mean? She's not so dependent on me. Um, 
So I, that was the biggest thing. I didn't want her to feel that she would be left out or I didn't want her to feel neglected. And every time I thought about it, I would just like bah, cry and be a complete sob and mess. And that was my number one biggest fear um, as far as considering another baby. Another would be just you know, is it the right time? Uh, because my husband, he travels so much for work and I don't know how to handle two kids. Like, you know, just things like that. Um, and I just kind of put my fears before everything else. But like I said, it wasn't until that neg negative pregnancy test where I knew for a fact it was something that I wanted. And um, it completely, the Lord just completely changed my heart and just changed my mentality, which is incredible because the fear that I have, that I knew that I had, um, was just so, so scary to me. And um, I have not had any feelings of regret. I mean, in the video, you will see, like I was just completely overwhelmed and so emotional because initially I was a little taken back, like, okay, this is really happening. You know, am I, are we really ready? Um, is this something that I really want? But I swear to God, ever since I found out past that day, I have not felt any sort of regret or emotional detachment, you know what I mean? Um, and I was always scared of that prior to actually getting pregnant. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I kind of mentioned a little bit about it on Instagram when I had posted uh, the first ultrasound picture of my little baby, um, and a lot of you guys could relate to that. So that is so cool. I'm so glad that I have you guys to kind of venture on this journey with because it's, it's, I mean, you guys are like my girlfriend. Even though we've never met in person, you guys are still people that I consider friends and that we talk on a daily, especially on Snapchat and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so I definitely wanted to thank you guys for that. But with that being said, um, I do have my book here with a bunch of, um, notes that I have been taking down. It's something that, um, I wanted to put out there for you guys if you guys are pregnant and um, we can kind of bounce off each other as far as the advice goes or you know what works for you let me know you know kind of thing so um, again like I did like I did say I am 11 weeks tomorrow so I found out I was pregnant at five weeks and five maybe five six seven weeks five six and seven I was just ugh, like I was so sick I didn't move off the couch for like days. I feel like I didn't lift a finger. My poor husband was like doing all the housework because I was just, the nausea was so intense. I, it was miserable and it wasn't to the point where I would actually throw up, uh, which is good because I hate that feeling. I hate, oh, I hate throwing up. It was just, it felt like a hangover that never went away. <laughs> um, but my husband has been so supportive and just, like I said, he has been wanting another one ever since Raiden was two years old. So um, you can just imagine the, the excitement and he's just been so attentive and so nurturing and caring and loving. I'm like, oh my gosh, you keep this up. I'm going to have to go for baby number three. I was feeling nausea. I was just super exhausted, super lazy, super, like super fatigued. Um, I would take naps and I'm not a napper. I, if anything, I sleep very late at night or usually. And now that I'm pregnant, I go to sleep at about maybe nine o'clock, which normally I would go to sleep about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, but I would take naps in the day. And even now I, I usually take a nap um, in the day and then I fall asleep really super early um, at night, which is very, very strange. But um, migraines is another huge thing and I've, I've suffered from migraines for a long, long time. Uh, but now, especially that I'm pregnant, I can't take any of my remedies or, you know, my med medications that I have for my migraines. Um, not a lot of medications work because they're so intense. Um, and I usually don't like to take medicine for anything. I'm, I'm just stubborn like that unless it's really, really bad. Um, a lot of times if I just lay down and kind of sleep it off, it's okay. Or I'll get like ice cold water. I'll put ice in like a, a bowl and then uh, water and then I'll put like a rag or something inside and then I'll rest it on my forehead and it, it'll feel a lot better. Um, my mom used to do that for me when I had like fevers and stuff like that. But I feel like the cold compress just kind of makes me feel a little bit better. It doesn't go away. Um, it never really truly goes away, but it's, you know, I still have little things I could do to make it feel a little better or make it a little bit more tolerable. A lot of you guys have recommended to me to, you know, drink a cup of, um, 
Coca-Cola or like a cup of uh, coffee, um, something caffeinated to kind of help. Um, some of you had recommended Tylenol, which uh, my nurse and well, which my doctor recommended as well. But again, especially while I'm pregnant, I just don't want to take anything. Uh, my husband just is always frustrated with me because even though I'm in so much pain, I'm miserable. I don't like to take anything just for whatever reason. I don't want to mess up anything. Um, and also I think, well, I do have an infection, like a bladder infection right now. I don't know if that's TMI for you guys. I'm sorry. But, um, I feel like my body is very prone to UTIs, uh, very easily. It could be from anything and um, I don't get them frequently but I get them more than normal um, and uh, so I do have medication for that that I'm taking to kind of alleviate that or get rid of it obviously you don't want any infections going on as it could affect the baby um, so I'm going through that right now um, this is probably another <laughs> TMI thing but uh, constipation I'm just so bloated because of it, um, but it's getting, it's slowly getting better. I'm um, incorporating more fiber into my diet, uh, which I never really paid attention to before because as far as like, you know, fiber and this and this and this, I just had a very good or, um, you know, decent balanced diet. Um, when it comes down to diet now, especially that I'm pregnant, I pretty much eat what I want, um, but in moderation, uh, which is kind of what I did before. I was never strict. I just feel like a balanced lifestyle is more, you know, enjoyable. Dieting is just not for me just because I feel like a diet, you're going to, you're going to do it for a certain amount of time. Whereas me, I kind of look at it as a lifestyle, you know what I mean? So, um, I eat, I would say 90% organic and clean, um, and then I indulge in whatever I want. But with that being said, I do do it in moderation. I don't do it every single day, uh, just because it doesn't make me feel good, and also it adds to my constipation. <laughs> so, you know, I have to make sure that the digestion is, is going good. Um, but as far as cravings go, I have been just craving acidic things like grapefruit is a huge thing. I love grapefruit, grapefruit juice, um, grapefruit uh, flavored um, like sparkling water, anything like that. Uh, fresh fruits, you know, grapes, frozen grapes, which I love frozen grapes regardless. So anything fresh, cold, I love. Um, and pepperoncinis. I mean, I love pepperoncinis and I used to eat them with like all my sandwiches and pizza and stuff like that, but I feel like I eat it with everything and I, I'm like super big on pepperoncinis and tuna sandwiches right now. <laughs> um, I don't know, but pepperoncinis, I love pepperoncinis. As far as food aversions go, I don't really have any. Um, the only thing that kind of turns me off is the smell and not necessarily food or I know a lot of you, um, we've talked about like red meats and stuff like that. I mean, I can handle meat uncooked meat and you know all that it's just scents in general like my husband's cologne sometimes just sets me off it gives me a headache or even my lotion when I apply lotion so now I'm using like unscented stuff at least for the time being um, some of my body sprays are uh, you know they're okay because I'm not super intense um, the body wash that I use I had to switch up because it's like it it's just too much my scents my sense of smell has just kind of heightened over the last couple of weeks, which is really weird because this pregnancy is completely different, like I said, from Raiden. And I know some people have said, well, you know, boy, it, it, it's going to be a boy or whatever. And so many of you have asked, Are, do you want a girl? Do you want a boy? And to be honest, all my life I wanted a girl. All my life I prayed to God for a girl. And thankfully, he gave her to me my first crack and now that my want for a girl and my desire has been fulfilled, I literally don't care what it is. If it's a girl, better yet because I ha already have a girl and um, I just think girls are just so fun to dress, especially as babies, you know, with their, their little big bows and, you know, whatever. As far as a boy goes, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I couldn't tell you the first thing. I would do <laughs> or I, I don't know how to raise a boy you know what I mean so I don't know and now that I'm going to be 11 weeks we find out in about four four weeks uh, whether it's a boy or girl so I'm excited for that when I first found out at five or six weeks I was just I lost a, between like five and seven pounds and that wasn't good initially because obviously you want to 
not gain weight, but at least you want to keep the weight. But it was still fairly early in my pregnancy, but it was I was just so sick that I lost so much weight. Now I am back up to my normal weight, which is 109-ish, um, between 6 and 9 pounds, or 106 and 109 pounds. But like I said, I just kind of eat what I want in moderation, just kind of splitting it out. Not because I want to slim down. Now that I'm 28, I appreciate pregnancy way more than I ever did when I was 20, what was it, 22? 21, 22 when I was pregnant with Raiden. At that time, I was worried about how my body would look. I didn't want to gain so much weight and blah, blah, blah. With that pregnancy, I gained about like 55 pounds, 50, 55 pounds. And um, it's totally not that way anymore. Like I understand the beauty of pregnancy for a woman and not every woman can do that you know what I mean and um, there were times in the four months I know I realized four months is not even close to how many years other ladies have been trying and especially through snapchat I've heard so many stories of you guys I've been trying with my husband three four five years nothing has happened and I truly believe that you guys are in my prayers because even though it was only for a short four months I still felt that because I was so against you know, having or trying for another one it was kind of punishing me because of that. So it, it still crushed me at the time because it wasn't happening as fast as I thought it would. You know, as far as my other friends who decided to try, it happened first crack for them. You know what I mean? So I was kind of thinking like, does my age have something to do with it? Or, you know, whatever. And all these things, crazy thoughts go into your head. Once I finally checked that all out, um, I was able to completely just hand it over to the Lord and forget about it. I mean, you fully, you don't fully forget about it, but you try to because it was literally an obsession. And, um, so, uh, but now as a 28 year old, I appreciate pregnancy and I love the changes that's happening. And, uh, to be honest, I, I, I'm, I'm welcoming to it. I'm, I'm not concerned about anything because I truly know the blessing of being able to conceive a child and to carry your own child so I'm so thankful that I even have this opportunity and I'm going to soak it in every chance I get and I'm literally on cloud nine every single day I'm on such a high um, although this one is giving me some hard time as far as like sickness and stuff like that or um, you know symptoms for for pregnancy but anyway as far as the birth goes I did have an emergency c-section with Raiden um, I was induced and her heart rate was dropping and I wasn't dilating fast enough so I was submitted to do a um, emergency c-section um, which completely scared the crap out of me obviously you don't like to hear news like that and I was literally in the OR in a matter of seconds I felt like so I was like freaking out um, I had the worst experience as far as that goes so because of that I was kind of considering VBAC um, VBAC is vaginal birth after cesarean and um, I wanted to see if I could do that or see what my options were because of the experience that I had when I had Raiden. Um, the anesthesiologist wasn't pumping enough numbing or whatever he needed to do. He was too busy talking to my husband trying to ca carry a conversation um, that I kind of felt a lot of the stuff and you could I mean we have some home videos and um, I wasn't being pumped with the anesthesia um, until like way later so I don't even remember seeing her for the first time even though I have it on tape that I clearly saw her my husband brought her around the uh, the sheet or whatever was blocking me and I kissed her and all that but I don't remember it so um, it wasn't such a great experience for me um, which is why I was considering doing a VBAC but after talking to the doctor the doctor did did say that there is a percentage uh, of a chance of rupturing and you don't know that you're rupturing especially if you try to do a VBAC after a c-section uh, because you already have a scar on your uterus um, and not only on your skin but your uterus too you have that chance of rupturing and it's a matter of life and death for the baby and the mom um, I get like choked up every time I think about it so uh, I don't want to take that chance my husband obviously when he heard that he was like nope not even an option. She's not going to do the VBAC. We're going to do the, c the cesarean section. Um, so I am scheduled to do a C-section. I haven't fully like signed over the fact that I want to do a C-section. Uh, but my husband is like super adamant about it. And I think I'm going to do that only because also um, 
I get to have the baby a week early, <laughs> 39 weeks. So I am scheduled for July 22nd, 2016, and I'm so excited. Um, it's about an hour. You, he said you go in, you have the surgery, and an hour later you're out. Um, so I don't know, but that's my option, and I'm going to, I think I'm just going to do it. Um, I'm going to schedule it, uh, sign my life away, I guess you could say. But um, along with that, because we aren't in Vegas, um, it's the thing. The thing that's good about a C-section is that I can schedule to have my mom and dad out here, um, especially to help with Raiden because Raiden's not allowed to sleep over at the ho a hotel. Raiden's not allowed to sleep at the hospital so overnight. So it'd be nice to um, have a specific date that way we can plan for my mom or my parents to to come here to watch Raiden. Uh, but not only that, there is a possibility that Randon will not be here for the birth. And even though that crushes my soul, um, you know, his job is, I mean, he has to do what he has to do and I don't want to be that wife, you know, that kind of gives him the ultimatum and makes him feel bad about it. Um, I know a couple wives like that and I just, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that one. So, um, there is a big chance that he's, he's going to miss the birth, but, um, he would come home a couple, only a couple days later. So it's not like the baby will be, you know, months old before he would come home and meet him or her for the first time but um but yeah so that's pretty much it i am going to try to keep up with these pregnancy vlogs or pregnancy videos um leave your questions down below if you have any for me um well, i'm trying to think what else i have to tell you guys uh, now that I'm feeling a lot better, you guys, thank you so much for being patient with me. I will be back, uh, getting back into the normal routine of things, with makeup videos and stuff like that, um, pregnancy videos and all that fun stuff. So with that being said, I'm going to show you my belly for the very first time. But, um, oh, who's calling me? Oh, my niece. Okay, so this, I actually have pregnancy uh, leggings on. And I got it from Target. It has like an extra flap here where you can like cover, you know, it looks like a little cami. But this is my stomach. Sorry, my raw. But this is my stomach. I am still bloated, so I don't know how much of it is bloat. If I suck in, you can see. That's me sucking in. But relaxed, that is pretty much it. So... My butt is still the same. It's just like right here. It's like getting a little bit hard, but yeah, I'm excited. There you can kind of see my belly. There's the front. I do have some stretch marks from Ray Ray. You guys don't always see it because you can see it if you look close, but if you know I'm far, you really can't see it. But so that is my belly. We're gonna put that up because that looks better. But yeah, so I am going to keep you guys posted on future videos and future weeks to come. Like I said, my husband and I are, uh, we want to find out the sex of the baby within another maybe four or five weeks or so. So I will keep you posted on that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, any requests that you'd like me to do. List it down below or write it in the comment section and um, I'll chop, 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 get to that for you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!